Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today in this video we are going to see how to make this beautiful doily pattern. So this doily measures about, you can see it measures about 15 inches, this is about 38 centimeter. For making this doily I have used this 4 ply acrylic yarn or you can say this fingering weight yarn in orange color and crochet hook I have used 2.5 millimeter crochet hook though this is a very simple project so let's get started so first we are going to make a magic circle now in this magic circle we will chain 3 1 2 3 so this chain 3 counts as a double crochet then we will work 23 more double crochets into the magic circle so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 So like this we are going to make 23 double crochets in this circle so here I have finished so including the first chain 3 now we have 24 double crochets now we will make a slip stitch on top of this first chain 3 here and finish this round now we will pull this yarn tail at the back to close the magic circle as much as we can so the first round is done here so for the next round we are going to chain 3 which again counts as a double crochet then we will make a double crochet into the next stitch so we have two double crochets here including the first chain three then we will chain three and work one double crochet into the next two stitches so one and two then we will chain three again one two three then one double crochet into the next two stitches one and two then chain three one two three and one double crochet into the next two stitches one and two So like this we are going to repeat this round I'll meet you here at this end so here I'm at the end I have made two double crochets then we are going to chain three and make a slip stitch on top of the first chain three so this is how we will finish every round so our second round is done for the next round we will chain three again which counts as a double crochet then we will work one double crochet into the same stitch so this is the increase that we have worked two double crochets in the same stitch then double crochet into the next stitch so we have three double crochets then chain three and again increase on top of the first stitch that is two double crochets so one and two in the same stitch then one double crochet in the next stitch then chain three one two three again increase in the first stitch one and two in the same stitch then one double crochet in the next stitch 
then chain 3 again 2 3 increase in the first stitch one and two in the same stitch then one double crochet in the next stitch so like this we are going to repeat this round and finish in here so here we have finished this round like the previous round now for the next round again chain three work a double crochet into the same stitch which is the increase then work one double crochet into the next two stitches so one and two then chain three again increase in the first stitch one and two in the same stitch then one double crochet into the next two stitches one and two then chain three one two three and again increase on top of the first stitch one and two then one double crochet into the next two stitches one and two into the next stitch so like this we are going to repeat around and finish this round so here I have finished this round for the next round chain three again double crochet into the same stitch which is the increase then one double crochet into the next three stitches one two and three then we are going to chain three one two three then again increase on top of the first stitch one and two in the same stitch then one double crochet into the next three stitches one two three then chain three again increase in the first stitch one and two in the same stitch then one double crochet into the next three stitches one two and three so like this we are going to repeat and finish this round so here you can see i have finished this round so we are going to continue this same pattern for more rounds now we have one two three four five rounds so we are going to repeat this pattern and finish up to round 14 so we will increase in first stitch and work one double crochet in the rest of the stitches then chain three in between so like this pattern we are going to continue up to round 14 i'll meet you at the end of round 14 So here I have finished 14 rounds. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I have finished 14 rounds. Let's continue with the next round. So first we will chain 3. Then work 1 double crochet into the same stitch which is the increase. Then we will work one double crochet into the next three stitches. So one, two, and 
3 then we will chain 5 so 1 2 3 4 5 then work 1 double crochets into the next 10 stitches so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so like this we are going to repeat around chain 3 1 2 3 and again increase in the first stitch of the next part so 1 and 2 into the same stitch then 1 double crochet into the next 3 stitches 1 2 3 then we will chain 5 1 2 3 4 5 and work 1 double crochet into the next 10 stitches 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 then we will chain 3 and repeat the same pattern so we will work the same pattern around and finish this round in here so here you can see I have finished this round so for the next round chain 3 and double crochet into the same stitch which is a increase then we will work one double crochet into the next three stitches one two and three then we will skip this last stitch chain 5 3 3 4 5 skip this next stitch and single crochet into this chain 5 space single crochet chain 5 again 1 2 3 4 5 then we are going to skip the next two stitches and work one double crochet into the next eight stitches so skip two stitches and work eight double crochets one two three four five six seven eight so here we will repeat this same pattern then we will chain three one two three again increase in the first stitch one and two in the same stitch then work one double crochet into the next three stitches one two and 
3 then we will chain 5 2 3 4 5 skip the next stitch and single crochet into this chain 5 space then chain 5 again 1 2 3 4 5 skip the next 2 stitches 1 and 2 then work 8 double crochets 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so like this we will repeat around then we will chain 3 and repeat the same pattern and finish this round in here so here I have finished this round so for the next round chain 3 and double crochet into the same stitch which is the increase then one double crochet into the next three stitches so one two and three then we will chain five two three four five skip the next stitch and we will work a single crochet into this chain five space near this left end so near this left end we will work a single crochet then make a single crochet into this stitch then single crochet into this space in this right end So single crochet into the space then chain 5 again 1 2 3 4 5 then we will skip the first two stitches and work one double crochet into the next five stitch so 1 2 3 4 5 then we will skip this last stitch chain 3 then repeat the same pattern in the next part so increase in the first stitch 1 and 2 in the same stitch 1 double crochet into the next 3 stitches 1 2 3 then we will chain 5 1 2 3 4 5 skip the next stitch and single crochet into this space in this left corner single crochet then single crochet into this stitch from the previous round then single crochet into this right corner of the space then we will chain 5, 3, 4, 5, skip the first 2 stitches and work 5 double crochets, 1, 2, 3, 3, 4 and 5 then we will skip this last stitch then we will chain 3 and repeat the same pattern in every part so we are going to continue this round in the same pattern and finish it here so here you can see I have finished this round so for the next round we are going to work this single part so we will work back and forth so for the next round 
we will work slip stitch into the next two stitches so here one two so we will start from here chain three then work one double crochet into the next two stitches one two then work two double crochets into the next space here into this right corner so here work two double crochets one two so we have five double crochets here then we will chain five one two three four five work a single crochet into the center stitch so we have three stitches so into the second center stitch we will work a single crochet then we will chain five two three four five and work two double crochets into this space in this left corner one and two then work one double crochet into this first three stitch one two three then we will skip this last two stitches so this is our first round in this part then for the next round we are going to turn our work like this so turn our work and we will continue our next round so slip stitch into the next two stitches so one two then chain three one double crochet into the next two stitches one and two then work one two double crochets into this space in this right corner one and two then we will chain two one two then we are going to repeat this center part sorry skip the center part and work two double crochets in this left corner of this next chain five space then work one double crochet in the first three stitches one two and three so this is our second round for the next round we will again turn our work like this then we will continue with the next round so slip stitch into the next two stitches one two then chain three double crochet into the next two stitches one and two then two double crochets in this chain two space one two then one double crochet in the first three stitches one two and three so this round is done we will skip the last two stitch so here we have one two three four five six seven eight double crochets in this round so for the next round we will again turn our work then we will slip stitch into the next two stitches one two then we will chain three and work one double crochet into the next three stitches so one two and three so here we have four double crochets in this last round then we will chain one and cut off the yarn pull the yarn through and tighten so here we have finished this 
petal like part in our first part so like this we are going to repeat around in every part so we will have a total of 12 such petals so like this we will repeat so I'm going to do one more petal here in this part so for that we are going to attach our yarn into the third stitch so here to the third stitch we will join this yarn again so we will do the same chain 3 then one double crochet into the next two stitches one two then one two double crochets into this chain five space right corner so here into this space we will work two double crochets one and two then we will chain five one two three four four five then single crochet into this center stitch that is the second stitch then chain five again three four five then two double crochets in this left corner of the space one two then one double crochets in these first three stitches one two three then skip the last two so first round is done then we will turn our work like this for the next round slip stitch into the first two stitches one and two then chain three one double crochet into the next two stitches one and two then work two double crochets into this chain five space so here you have to work two double crochets in the chain five space then we will chain two and work these two double crochets in the next space then work three double crochets sorry i have uh, missed those two double crochets i will correct it in the next round so three double crochets here so for the next round i have turned the work so work two slip stitches in the next two stitch one two then chain three one double crochet into the next two stitches then two double crochets in this chain two space then one double crochet in the first three stitch one two and three so we have eight double crochets here for the next round again turn your work and slip stitch into the next two stitches one Two, chain three and work one double crochet into the next three stitches one two and three 
then chain one and we will cut off the yarn pull the yarn through and tighten now here you can see I have finished two of these petals here so in this same method we will work around and finish all these 12 petals and hide all the yarn tails so I'll finish the 12 petals and meet you there so here you can see I have finished all the 12 parts and I have hidden all the yarn tails with the tapestry needle so this beautiful doily is now ready so I hope you guys like this video tutorial so hit the like button leave a comment below share with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you guys bye bye